Thank you for watching our channel, JMD Janitorial. If you have not done so already, now will be a good time to subscribe. In this video, my intention is to share with the viewers tips I learned as an entrepreneur, some nuances of operating a small business, and my advice which derives from both my personal and professional experiences. Without further delay, roll the tape. You want to have a frequently asked questions page on your website. For example, um, are you bonded and insured? Do I need to provide your janitorial company with supplies? Do you send the same person every time that you clean? I'm just using us as an example. That's carpet cleaning, disinfectant cleaning, uh, gym cleaning, office cleaning. And within these different tabs or pages on your website, you want to describe um, what that service entails. You also want to have an about page. Um, on my about page, um, I speak about the area that JMD service. Um, there's a section that um, has why choose JMD janitorial our contact information, and then testimonials. Um, I like to use promotional ads that I create with like Invanto, and then also um, take a lot of pictures of the staff while they're working. I like to take pictures when they're not paying attention to me. And to me, those make some of the best pictures um, that we use in our gallery on our website. And if you have the ability for customers to uh, pay an invoice, you can have that as a tab. Um, there are some restrictions and things um, as far as privacy, them providing you with their uh, credit card or account information, you know, but you're gonna go over all of that security uh, with your website posts. These are the different reasons why I prefer to use a professional service who specialize in website building because it, it essentially boils down to time versus savings. Um, if you have the time to learn how to build a functioning website or the savings part is that's where you save the money at. And um, the time is, is that, you know, you may have to outsource it because it's complicated. I specifically use different platforms for different reasons and understanding your customer base and the people you're trying to reach, whether that's the decision makers, whether that's the gatekeepers, they're, they want to be contacted in different ways. So there are some customers who still prefer to be contacted by you printing up flyers and stopping by their business. When you go on these different platforms, as far as understanding what platforms are going to be used to reach decision makers, what platforms you're going to use to strictly for branding. Um, so like Google My Business is a good place, um, not only just for branding, but the consistency of posting into Google My Business in ways that you can get your company's uh, image, logo, name, message, you can get it out there. So, you know, some of the platforms you can do yourself, um, depending on what your marketing plan is, you may use a outside vendor. Just understanding your customer base, the trends within your customer base is very, very important. And understanding how those potential customers would like you to reach out to them. So just to, as a quick recap, you're going to have some customers that still prefer you to print out flyers, door knockers, and literally go from door to door um, as a salesman and pitching um, your product. And your product in this case is your services that you provide. Some customers prefer to be contacted face to face. It's like the old school way. They, you know, they like they like being contacted that way. Then you have some. Nowadays, the trend is more headed towards customers um, being contacted directly uh, on different social media platforms. Um, now you, once you understand 
the different social media platforms, you then decide how you're going to use those platforms. Pardon the pun, but you know, gatekeepers, these are people that may not be able to hire the cleaning company, but they're tasked with, you know, scouting for cleaning companies um, in their area. And then, you know, they may give the uh, decision maker a handful of companies and then they choose one. So you have different platforms where you're going to have people that, again, pardon the pun, but, you know, the gatekeepers and they prefer to be contacted in a specific way. And then you have some people that only rely on, let's say, like the Better Business Bureau. Um, so the different platforms that you can use uh, to contact people, whether that's the decision makers, the gatekeepers, or for branding, understanding these different platforms is going to be essential to your growth and your development. And again, um, shout out to those that may have overnight success, um, become trending, but for most of us, it's going to be a grind. And the major part of that grind is going to be your consistency and the message and the professional image um, that you're putting out there. And most importantly, your ability to back up the brand that you're putting out there, you know? <laughs>